Hey guys, how is everybody? I am going to do a pretty, a pretty look today, but I want to focus on eyes today because I want to show you, um, I'm going to tell you some tips and tricks about your eyes. Uh, my name is Tanya Williams and I'm a beauty influencer with Pharmacy and I love it, love it, love it. Um, so let's get started. Is it okay that it is 12.10 and I'm still drinking my coffee? <laughs> it's so good. And I started drinking it at like seven o'clock this morning, so. But it's good. So good. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get started. I've already went in with my primer. Um, this is your number one, right? Okay. So you want to do your skincare, all that. And then you want to make sure that you're going in with a primer before you put on any makeup. Um, and what that's going to do is going to fill in all the cracks, the pores, um, the wrinkles, all of that stuff. So then that way when you put your foundation on, you're going to have a smooth surface to work with, okay? And that really makes a huge difference in skincare. Because if you've got um, really bad skin and stuff like that, it doesn't matter how you do your makeup. It's just not going to look good. You want to make sure you're exfoliating, doing all that good stuff. But... Primer is definitely a must-have. Um, any primer will work. I prefer a silicone-based primer, and all of our primers are silicone-based, so that's a good thing. This one is a lotion consistent consistency. So um, when you put it on, it's just like a, a lotion. Um, we do have a gel one, too, so whichever you prefer. And I make sure that I put it mainly here... You know on on the inner part and then I just kind of work it out but that's that hi Sandra how are you all right so that is the if y'all see that live button up there on the top that means that you are watching the live and I am in real time doing this if you don't see that red live up there that means that you're watching the replay and you can go ahead and watch it or whatever if you do have questions though go ahead and post them um, or message me, but if you post them, I'll, I'll still get, um, notified so I can come back and answer your questions if you have any. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'm just going to go in with a cream shadow and, um, if you got hooded eyes, I'm going to show you some tips around that. Um, I'm going to pin my website real quick. I did, um, change it. It used to go directly to, um, where you could shop. But now it's supposed to. It's working for some people. For some people it's not. I don't know why. I've got to. I've got to figure that out. But it's supposed to redirect you to um, my website. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna start doing um, like inspirational type stuff, beauty tips. Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Nala. does this every time every single time <laughs> come here she's like having a two-year-old come here you're walking <laughs> lay down it's okay lay down lay down that's sitting <laughs> but anyway it's supposed to redirect you to that website which is going to be my website and um, I'm going to start doing some stuff over there um, just to kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I want to be able to give more value and that kind of thing. So I was thinking I'll do it over there. And then, it, of course, it has all the links to get you to everywhere else if you want to do that. All right, I'm going to go in with our CC cream. I love our CC cream because it is a color it has a color corrector in it. Um, it's going to give you coverage, too, and... Uh, I have a lot of redness, if you can see, um, so that's why I like it. I do like the Stay Matte, too. That's this one. 
I used it the other day when I was on and it's a little bit too light. I ended up having to go in with the VFX, which you can tell is too dark for me and I had to mix the two to get the color I wanted. <laughs> but we're getting there, hey. Oh, I know one. I'm gonna put my lip conditioner on before I do my foundation. Um, this stuff's so good. It's like a chapstick, but it doesn't have that nasty taste. Um, I talked about Burt Bees before too. I really like them, and I like this better than Burt Bees, and I really like Burt Bees. So. Hold please, coffee coffee break at lunch. I got up. I was busy this morning. Busy. I had a dishwasher full of clean dishes. Let me pull this down a little bit. She didn't even stay right here. I don't know where she went. As long as she's quiet, I don't care. She does this every time. But I did dishes, I did laundry, you know. I got hardwood floors all through, so I had to sweep those. <clears throat> That's like a daily thing with a dog, though. She loses so much hair. It's ridiculous. But this just kind of goes on like a lotion. That's another thing I like about it. So it's not real um, heavy. So if you just want to, well, it gives you a good coverage, but still. It's not real heavy. It's not real cakey or any of that stuff. So you don't have to worry about all that. And see how it just kind of gets rid of that redness? That's what I like. Because I've got really bad skin. Really bad skin. I still break out like crazy, like a teenager. So I try not to put like a lot of product on. Plus the older you get, you don't want to do that anyway because you're going to have um, your wrinkles. And when you're putting more stuff on, you're going to find that it's going to show them wrinkles more. So I try not to do that. I'm just basically getting where it's still red. I got a scar right there so it don't ever... But you can still see your, my freckles through it. It's not um, going to cover those up. So if you just want something light, this is the one that I really like. The matte one, if you have oily skin, I would prefer that one. And it's going to give you a little bit more coverage too than this one does. But this one has all kinds of uh, minerals in it too, so it's actually really good for your skin. Okay, I'm going to blend that down. Ouch, I hit my elbow. I hit my elbow. Alright. Hi, Jamie. If you're still there. Okay, so another thing I wanted to tell you guys. Also, the website. I hope you guys like it. Um, I didn't. I just used like the free, the free one for now because I'm trying. I'm just trying to see how everything is gonna go with um, how I want to do this. But I think I want. I think you guys will like the website a lot. Another thing is in August, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing giveaways. I'm gonna do like a monthly giveaway. So starting tomorrow, not today, but if you guys wanna do it today, you can, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Um, for every, every time I go live, if you hit that button down there on the bottom, I think it's on the left, um, and sprinkle this over to your page. I'm going to put you in a drawing for the end of the month, and I'll do it on the last day of the month. Um, but uh, I'm going to put everybody that does that, I'm going to put you in a drawing for a free 
something. It will most likely be, because <laughs> I love these, <laughs> it'll most likely be a mascara or an eye pencil, or I might go ahead and just make you a little baggie and put some goodies in there. Um, I found some cute stuff, some samples, that kind of stuff. I'll just get you a little goodie bag, and yeah, I'm going to do a drawing every, every last day of the month for that. So, if you guys could just... I don't want to say the word S-H-A-R-E <laughs> if you just put that over on your page for and I'm gonna be doing all kinds of stuff I'm gonna do um, a giveaway also in my VIP group um, I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do there but it'll be fun I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do more of that kind of stuff so we shall see how that goes so and yeah that's it and I'm going to go in with just a little bit of the CC cream in the lighter shade because I'm going to put that under my eyes and everywhere I'd highlight. Since I can't use it <laughs> as my foundation because I got it too light. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. I had, I was still getting used to color matching. So I thought I had them right, but I didn't. And I, uh, yeah, I don't think I've got it down, but I should have asked a higher up before I, <laughs> before I made the decisions. Okay. Hi, Amber. Um, let me just, I'm just putting this here. And I said in the description, I'm going to help you guys with the, um, the ones that have hooded eyes. And if you don't know what a hooded eye is, I will tell you. Because I didn't know this stuff really until I got to doing this. And I try to learn stuff um, so I can show you guys. Sorry, I got an itch. So I can show you guys and teach you guys stuff too as we go. All right, I don't know why I did that. I wanted to do the liquid. This is the liquid concealer. I'll go ahead and use it too and show you. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. It ain't gonna hurt a thing. I try to bring it up everything I like to bring up on my face because I am getting older. I don't like to admit it. But <laughs> I don't like to admit it, but I am. Gosh, my arm is itching like crazy. Alright, and this beauty blender is damp because I don't want to I don't want everything to come right back off but see how that just kind of lightens everything up and I need to get them little beauty blenders so I can fit, work my way around my eyes without open my clear. All right, you want to make sure that you are really bouncing that all over because that's what's gonna it's gonna kind of blend it all better and everything. Y'all should be proud. I cleaned up my eyebrows finally. <clears throat> finally. Finally, I got this pimple down here. I always miss it. You'd think at my age we wouldn't have to worry about this. Look at that. It's, and I, that's where I always break out, like all around my neck. Somebody said that's hormonal, but I don't know. Now my legs itch. <laughs> I'm sorry, you God. I don't know. I use the same soap and stuff I always use but 
took a shower and I have been itching since I got out. I don't know why. Mm. Gosh, that's good. Gosh, that's good. Okay, now I am going to use a translucent powder. See, that's a little bit light, but once it goes on your skin, it does not look that color. And it smells amazing. I know I say that all. I am so into stuff that smells good. Just love, I like stuff to smell good. Okay, and next I'm gonna go in with our powder. That's that one, and it's in my shade. This is light ivory, I think, is the shade that I got. Just go around. Let me see if I can see it. I think it's light ivory. But it is the perfecting powder press powder it's number two that's all it says on it but i think the actual color is light out light ivory <clears throat> and see that's just just the cc powder and stuff love it and it does not feel like i'm wearing anything that's what I love the most about it because I can't stand when you wear makeup and you just feel like your whole face is just covered with a mask. Although nowadays we gotta wear one. But. And that's another thing about the lip conditioner. It is a must have if you have to wear a mask to work or something. It stays for a good while. It's not um, sticky or anything. And it really um, conditions your lips and helps keep them healthy. Because when you're wearing that mask over your face and it's just, and um, even if you're having trouble with breakouts because of your mask too, um, let me know. And I can tell you, um, we've got an awesome uh, tonic that will help keep you um Yeah, <laughs> it, it'll help all that. So we've got like, gosh, I don't know. I think we got like five or six different types of skincare. We've got seven different mascaras. We've got six or seven different foundations. Um, so there's something for everybody. Uh, definitely. But it's all really good stuff. And like I said, you can't, like I'm rubbing my face and it's just so soft. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on. And as I said, I took a few minutes before I got on here and worked on them brows. <laughs> you should be proud. I'm going to get, we've got brow powders from, we got all kinds of brow products too. And I've been using my eye pencil, but I think I want to try the other stuff just because I'm gonna see how good they are. But, um, right now we're gonna go in with our brow pencil. And I try just to fill in where it's missing. You know what I mean? Because I've got really sparse lashes. And then I'm gonna go right above here. And then bring it down and everybody's gonna be different everybody but um, the basic way to do it is to just work with what you got um, and I like to put a line on the bottom because it gives it more definition and then just kind of line the top and then bring them both down to meet each other that's kind of how I go about it and do it. And let me see here. And I have to draw over here a little bit because I, I'm missing so much over here. Because your eyebrow is supposed to meet like right here. And as you can see, see how mine don't? So I have to 
give it some have to work with it now if you're somebody that is blessed with gorgeous lashes and you don't have to put so much on then you know just fill in what you need and make sure that you go and get them uh, waxed or you know what I mean go get them um, shaped and then after that you can just kind of do the maintenance on them but you don't want to like over pluck and start going crazy and doing it all yourself because as you can see it really messes your brows up i am one that did that and i wish i wouldn't have because now i have to really deal with uh, I have to deal with filling it all in and all that stuff and I really wish I wouldn't have and what I should have done before I did my brows let me go back and we'll put some uh, eye primer on this stuff is amazing it's gonna take this is gonna take like if you can see the veins and all that in your eyes this is going to be the trick it will um, cover all that up and it gives your eye an automatic just lift look at look at the difference between this eye with the brow and the eye primer with this one isn't that crazy this stuff is really good it's like a, a tackiness you know so your eyeshadow will um, stick to it I let mine dry a little bit that's why I wanted to go back and do it to give it some time but it's really really good this is the first eye primer I've ever used and I don't really know why I never used it before but I like it <laughs> but I like it and it does not take a, a lot at all you can use a brush to do it I use my finger just because it warms it up and it kind of helps it you know spread around or whatever that's why I like these I hope that eyebrow this eyebrow looks good so I'm hoping that after I usually this one looks good until I do this one <laughs> and then I'm like Ugh. they don't they don't even look like cousins y'all <laughs> It is I'm still drinking coffee it's not having the same effect as it did the other day though the other day I was drinking it and I was I was a wild child I can't never get these to match ever see Drops me crazy. I need to sharpen my pencil too. That would probably help. <clears throat> See, this one looks better than this one. <laughs> Usually, this one looks better. Try to make it wipe with me, but I don't. I'm gonna sharpen my pencil real quick. I think that's part of the problem. It looks a little better. I think I just got heavy handed on it.
I don't know why it's so dark. Oh, gosh. You definitely ain't got to be a professional to do what I do, as you can tell. <laughs> I just do it to have fun. I don't care. I enjoy it. I do, I do, I do. And I keep losing my brushes. I'm not sure what's going on. This is awful. Maybe it looked like that until I put the powder on. I put the powder on that one so I can't tell. They don't match. They don't match at all. I don't know why I'm singing. Just ignore that. Well, yes, I do. I can't turn on music because Facebook will get mad at me. And my life, I usually have um, music going on all the time. Anybody that knows me well knows that if Tanya is awake, the music's playing. Sorry. I was going to say that. I'll let her finish. There's an airplane going over. So she is going to be mad. Hi, Marie. Are you done, Nala? Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. She is snorting. Airplanes go over and they just ticker her off so bad. She don't like them. Put the rest of that over there. I'm gonna start doing my brows before I get on here. It takes me forever to do it. It does. But I'm trying to get better at it. And the only way you're going to get better at it is if you do it, right? They're going to look wonky until I get my eyes done. Oh, goodness. How are you feeling today, Marie? <clears throat> all right. That ain't too bad. It'd be all right. break. You guys, I'm going to use our new, you keep that nausea to you. I don't want it to, I love you, but I don't want it today. Yesterday was awful. And it didn't start until I got off the phone with you. I got off the phone with you, and after that, I was just done. <laughs> done. I told your dad, I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> she needs to stop having babies. Tony can't take it no more. <laughs> okay, I think they're good.
I am going to go in, you guys. I love this. It is our new peach palette. And I love it because I'm so fair skinned. Let me turn it this way. Maybe you can see better. Um, our three in one palette, I love it too. I love both of them. But here's so you can see the difference. The bottom one is the three in one, and the top one is the peach. And there's really not that much difference in them. Um, once you put them on, there's not. But um, I like using this one, the three in one for my eyes. I've not tried to use the peach one yet for my eyes yet. But today I'm going to use it yet. I've been using the three in one a lot more because I just am addicted really to both of them. All right. And I just go right underneath that cheekbone. Actually, should have went a little bit lower. Oh well. And you want to do two fingers and then two fingers. You don't want to, or at least right here, that way. But see how it's, I don't know if you can see it or not. And that's my hair. It don't look dirty. It's just my hair. <clears throat> but a lot of bronzers, when you put them on, they look like dirt. If you're not careful. Brandon keeps walking through, staring at me. Here we go. And I'm going to put a little extra because I've got this hair that wants to stand straight up. And then it looks like my, or it makes my forehead look huge. And this will take some pounds off. And if you got a big old honker, you can do this and it'll thin it out. Mine's not really that big, but. I got a message. Okay, so that's like it look at that. And then I'm gonna go right above the bronzer and I'm gonna put this peachy 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 blush. And I like to just twirl it and then bring it up. I love this peach because it's so soft on your face and with my skin being so light I like that. <clears throat> like it. Alright and then the highlight look at that. Isn't that pretty? Like that's the peach one and here's the this one's the three in one and this is the peach. So see there's not much difference in them. I like them both. Why not? Let's see. And then I just I just do a little bit to kind of give you a natural glow. <clears throat> and that's how much you get. This is so light that I'm just kind of doing it a little extra. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to the... I love you. You hijack all my videos. I do. <laughs> I like Mm-hmm. Okay. Clean up as I go, but look at that. I love it. 
I love it. All right, next I'm gonna go, I already done my eye primer. Figure out what lipstick I'm using today. I'll tell you guys. I try to stay organized. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna go in with something. I think I'm gonna use the coffee brown. This is just a regular mono palette, one of the smaller ones, and I do recommend these over the ones with the three in it. You really get a lot more. See. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my blending brush, and I got a wild hair. I can see the light. There we go. And when you got hooded eyes, what you want to do, <clears throat> what hooded means is, let me show you if I can find something that's small. Let me use this. So right here in the crease, all right? So when my eye is shut, you can see it. When I open my eyes, all of this right here kind of goes down. <laughs> and as I get older, it's going to keep folding down. I mean, that's just, you know, your eyes get droopy and they drop. So what I try to do when I put on my eyeshadow is go above this crease right here. And then that way, when you open your eye up, you can still see the color. If you don't do that, you're going to lose that color in that crease. So <clears throat> the main, and you, another tip is when you're doing this to keep your eye open. And then you can just, you want to use a bigger brush. That way it's going above that crease. And I just kind of go back and forth like a little windshield. And then I don't put a whole lot on to start. I just kind of keep doing it to build. See, you can still see it, but it's not like dark, dark. You don't want it. Don't want it really dark. See? And that eye primer really helps. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. my eye open while I'm doing it. And I could use, I used to be like, oh my gosh, every time I put on eyeshadow, you can't see it. But then back in the 80s, <laughs> you know, we wore it way up here anyway. But you don't, you want to try not to go all the way to your brow. And if you do get a little too high, you can go back and put some, uh, a lighter color under your brow to kind of define that. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with Green Bean. <laughs> I love the name of that. Green Bean. Actually, hold on a minute. I'm going to go under my eye with this brown coffee, too. And I don't really worry about if I'm making a mess or if it's um, not straight. I just want it to kind of be there. I'm not going for a really um, clean look. I'm just kind of letting it blend downward. And then I always try to bring that up on that corner to make it look like it's okay. 
Well, that's the brown, and I'm going to leave it out because I know I'll have to go back and mess with it. Mm, I forgot to clean my brush again, so I'll use my finger. This green bean is like the prettiest green. It's like a khaki almost. And I'm just going to put it right on my lid. I never thought I'd like green eyeshadow, but here I am. I used to wear purple all the time. All the time. If you knew me in high school, you, well, I don't know if you know it, noticed or not, but I was wearing purple. It was my favorite color. I didn't care what it looked like. I liked it. And I think nowadays, people need to do that more often. If you like it, then wear it wear it don't worry about what people think and these dry so fast but I will tell you they will stay on like all day they're not going nowhere I'm gonna try I don't know if this is gonna work but I'm gonna try I need more of a I'm gonna have to clean my brushes if I do this but I'm gonna do it um, I'm going to put just a little bit on my brush, and I'm going to try to go a little higher with it. I usually use a sponge brush. Um, I don't know if I better get that before it dries, or I'll mess up everything. Um, I try to wash my brushes after I use them if I know... I want to use it again for a different look, but I forgot. I forgot. Don't do what I do. Don't stretch your eye like this. Don't do that. Your skin around your eye is the most fragile skin on your body. But your girl can't. The way she wants it, so I'll just do it carefully. I just do it carefully. Okay, I'm gonna go up a little bit. Alright, and then I'm gonna put a little bit under my lash line right here. Oh, I forgot I had something. You guys, I've, I've even got green eyeliner. Use that today, too. Why not? And I always kind of tip that off. That way it looks... Okay, and then you can take your blending brush, dip it back in that brown. And just go back over it again. And see how that darkened it up too. I'm loving these cream shadows, you guys. You don't know how much I love them. You'd, I'm, you'd think that they're like going to crease and all that, but they don't. They literally are going to stay all day and they're going to stay how you put them. Hi Vicki. How are you? I'm going to take this big old blending brush and just kind of give it some love real quick in case I got too much. And then I'm going to go back if I can find Fit my elbow twice now. I'm putting just a little bit of concealer 
that liquid concealer. I'm gonna need a mirror. I can't do this. But I'm gonna go right under here and just kinda, I've done this once, but I'm gonna do it again. And you don't need that much. I got a little bit too much. I'm trying to find the brush. I definitely need to clean my brushes. This is terrible. I don't have any of the right brushes to use because they're all dirty. See how that just kind of brightened it up. See the difference? Now I'm gonna do the other eye. I got too much. I miss you, Vicky. Miss you, girl. You ever up this way, you better give me a yell. I just messed that up. <laughs> As I was saying, you don't have to be a professional to do this. If you mess up, you can fix it. Ain't no problem. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with this. I'll put it on my nose. Uh, why not? Hi, Katie. Turned out looking like. And it's just like a, let me show you. That green mixed with that brown. So it's like that. And it'll look really good when I get my uh, mascara on. <clears throat> All right. I'm still drinking coffee, you guys. Still drinking the coffee today. Right. I think I'm gonna use the Zen mascara today. I will be giving one of these away in August. Um, I think I'm gonna try to, um, well I am. I'm going to do a giveaway in August where if you sprinkle, which is S-H-A-R-E, if you sprinkle my live over your page in August, I will put your name in, a, in for a drawing every time you do that. And then at the end of the month, I'll do a drawing on my live and give you one of these bad boys. Oh my gosh, that one hair. <laughs> Stay where you're supposed to be. But I love these mascaras. And if you don't want to wait or get in the giveaway, my website is down at the bottom. And not only is it the website, it's supposed to take you now to my website, which I have all kinds of, um, well, I don't have them all on there yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to be doing uh, inspirational posts, um, tips, tricks, more info on the products, that kind of stuff. So, 
And that's just one coat, you guys. I just poked myself. It just poked my elbow. That hurt. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> Let's see if I can. <clears throat> my eyelashes are sticking together today. I love these mascaras. And they normally don't do this. I don't know why it's doing that. That's just one coat, you guys. Love them. And one, this is a silicone brush. It's trying to focus. There you go. See how one side's short and one side's long? So I use the long side first and I go all the way to the root of my lash and then I come out. And then the second coat, I go back and I just do the short side on the tips. That way you're not, um, I can't talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> that way you're not uh, putting a bunch on top of a bunch on top of a bunch, you know? Because if you do that with any mascara, it's going to start clumping if you start putting wet on top of wet on top of wet, on top, you know. So you want to not do that. I just go back with the short side and get the bottom lashes. That's one thing I like about this too, because that short side really helps you... Um, Get them. Look at that. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. This mascara rocks. My socks. <laughs> oh, you know what I done? I knit. I forgot to do my eyeliner. I'll let it dry and then I'll go back. <clears throat> I'll let it dry. My mascara and then I'll go back with the eyeliner if I don't forget again. And see how I'm just going on the tips and look at that. And if you um, don't like really long lashes, because um, some people don't, or if you wear glasses or whatever and you don't want them, like I said earlier, we have seven different kinds of mascara. Um, so I definitely have something for everybody. Okay, but I, I like long lashes. <laughs> I like them long. All right. And look at that. That's crazy. Crazy. Okay, lipstick, and then I'll go back and do, um, let me lay that out so I don't forget it. Or I'll get off here and be like, I forgot to do the eyeliner. If I can find it. I know I got green. And I'm going to keep the white out too because I like putting the white in the corner. And I'm going to show you guys something else too. Alright, I'm just going to put a little bit of white. I don't, I'll just do it about halfway. Because that makes your eye look so much more open. So I like that. <laughs> I look like a doll. <clears throat> Okay, and then the green, I'm going to go in. I wish I would have done this before the mascara, but we'll try to tight line up here. And then I'm going to just 
kind of blend the white into the green where they just kind of go in together. And these are the express pencils that we carry. And I really, really like them. They go on smooth. Let's see, it makes your eyes pop. My leg is still itching, you guys. Urgh. All right, and then I'm just gonna take this and just kinda go underneath. Get them under eyes brightened up. I love a translucent powder because it does not cake. Look at that. You guys see how much I've put on her? I mean, I've... Go back and set that. But look. I know I'm all up in your business. But look at them lashes. And then the cream shadows. Watch. I don't know if I got a clean finger or not. We'll try this one. It does not come off. It'll come off with a makeup wipe, but it won't come off until you want it to come off. Okay? Okay. And then you got your peach palette. And that just helps you glow. I got a pimple over here I didn't cover up. So we'll do that real quick. All right. Now I'm gonna go in with my lipstick. I love this eyeshadow. I love the browns with the greens and all that, but I love browns. Anything brown. If you ever see my house, it's everything's brown. <laughs> my couch is brown, everything's brown. Okay, so I've still got the lip conditioner on um, and I'm just gonna put my lipstick over it. I'm gonna use um, this is one of our, I can't see it, you guys. Intense Colors. It is um, Denude. Denude. So that's what I'm going to use. It's kind of orangey, though. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. I don't like using stuff with oranges in it because of my skin. It makes it look. Um, and see, they don't come off very easy either. So, let me look real quick. I'm just not big on orangey. I like pinks and, well, not really browns either. Um, let's see. This is, I have so much trouble seeing. I don't think I've used this one before. This is the true color and it is warm beige. That's called orangey too. That's why I didn't use them. <laughs> I just don't like oranges. Because it pulls out the and I've lost the name of this one. It's a pink one though. <laughs> I try to make my choice before I get on here. And it seems like I always, always go back to hot gossip. I love this color, you guys. It's pretty. It's kind of pink, but it's um, got a brown tone to it, too. Um, I don't know what that one is. I don't know if I'm, like, throwing them in here and forgetting to put them back. Yeah, I am. I don't know what this is, but I love this color. See how they have little names on them, like right here? Oh, that one's plum something. But I'm gonna use this one. I can't remember what it is. I need to find out. If y'all like it, let me know and I'll find out the color for you. But it's, <laughs> it looks red, but I like it. Why not? And I'm not going to go real heavy on it.
all you newbies, if you didn't know. <laughs> I've got freckles on my lips. I do. I got a big one right there. See it? I just ran my finger across my teeth. I hope I don't have red teeth now. And I'm just kind of warming that up. And then, of course, I take our stick found, or our stick concealer. I'll get it here in a minute. You guys can see where I've done this. And I like to just put a little bit in the middle. some liners when you use a pencil liner for your lips it really helps your um, I swear I'll lose everything it helps your lips stick stay on so that's why I like it it helps it stay on longer And it helps it not go past your lips. Like where you line it won't go past it. But for now I'm using my lipstick to do it. Okay, so if you guys liked what I did today and give me some hearts or likes and if you want to you can hit that S-H-A-R-E button down there at the bottom and put this over to your page so your friends can watch if they want to it. I think I'm going to put a little bit of the highlight on my lip. Just because. Give it a little. Like that bottom lip ain't big enough, right? <laughs> I got big old lips. If you don't have big lips, we do have lip plumper. And that's definitely better than Botox. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> I don't know if I could do needles in my lips. It's bad enough when you go to the dentist and they have to do all that. Another trick too is if you want your makeup or your lips to last longer, what do I do with my powder? You can dust a little bit of the translucent powder on there if you want to. It will lighten it up a little bit, probably. You can also do like a tissue and then do it over the tissue. And that'll help. But that lightens it up since I did a pretty bold eye today. Alright, last but not, not least is my be fit finishing spray this one i love this one because if you're um going to be active or anything it helps keep because it's sweat proof waterproof all that so if you put this on it helps hmm, i think i put too much <laughs> it's okay and then my little fake oh yeah i put too much and then I just fan until it dries and it will stay all day long. It's not going to go anywhere until this evening when I go in the bathroom and 
Um, take it off. And another thing, I don't know if you guys know this or not. I'm just going to tell you. At the end of the day, when you're doing your skincare, make sure that you're using a makeup wipe to remove all your makeup before you go in with your um, wash, like your skincare wash. You really need to cleanse twice. Once with the makeup wipe, and then once again with the whatever you're cleaning your skin with. And then you want to go in with your moist or your serum if you use a serum, and then your eye cream, then your moisturizer, <laughs> and you need to do it in those steps. Those are the best steps to, to doing that. A lot of people they get the whole system, and they're not real sure what steps to take. So um, I have that on my website too. Um, if you click on uh, beauty, I think I'm I think it says beauty tips, but if you Go to that site. It should take you to my website now because I changed it. And then if you click on beauty tips, um, that's going to tell you that. So um, if you have any questions or anything, just shoot me a message. If you need help ordering anything, shoot me a message because the website is a little bit hard to navigate. Um, so I'm here to help you if you need help. And I guess I'm going to hop off here. It is Friday. I don't, if the hubby is mowing the yard tomorrow, I might jump on and do something real quick. But if not, I will see you guys definitely on Monday. All right. Have a good weekend and stay safe, you guys.